This week on The Roofing Report, a $400 million settlement is changing the game on broker's fees. We'll tell you how this could affect roofing. Then, three new startups are trying to make rebate programs easier for contractors. Later, we'll break down the insurance reforms that could be hitting Louisiana. And the Better Business Bureau is warning homeowners about free roof inspections. We want to know, is it hurting your sale? Hey guys, welcome back to The Roofing Report. We got a lot of great stories this week, but first, please help us out by liking the video down below. It truly helps. And if you have stories you want us to cover or company updates to share, send them to sydney at roofinginsights.com. But again, like this video if you don't want us to stop making roofing news every Sunday. We need at least 500 likes on every single episode to continue moving forward with the news every Sunday. Now let's get to the news. Legal battles. First up today is a big change in housing market and it could affect the roofing too. I'm talking about the NAR settlement. NAR stands for National Association of Realtors. They recently agreed to pay $418 million and it's been all over the news. The big takeaway from this case is that starting in July, home sellers will not have to pay the standard 6% broker's fees. That fee normally gets split by the seller agent and the buyer's agent. Now it's all up for negotiation. I want to talk about how this could affect the roofing industry, but first, Here's what it means for the housing market. Yeah, talk of the town over the weekend. For anybody who's buying or selling, you want to listen up. The headline here is the National Association of Realtors, which represents 1.5 million real estate agents nationwide, agreed to settle a series of lawsuits that were brought by home sellers in Missouri and Illinois that said, look, we think you're violating antitrust laws. You're setting your commissions artificially high. So Yasmin, you know, the way it works right now, you want to sell your house, you get a listing agent, and typically the commission they're going to get is somewhere in the 5 to 6% neighborhood. Yeah. Yes, you can say that is negotiable, and that is the case say, in some don't markets. Don't forget, you can't negotiate. You can but negotiate. You can, but it's regional. And if you're in a hot market, good luck. They're going to take that 6%. They split it with the buyer's agent. Well, this settlement eliminates those cooperation agreements. Mm. Agents may still cooperate. That's up to them. But you, as a consumer, aren't bound to this sort of secret agreement that has been kind of holding people hostage for, gener for gener generations for this upending the real estate industry. So we talked to some real estate experts. They say if you are selling, then this could be really significant for you after July. If this goes through a federal court, July. that still has to happen. So basically, a federal court has to approve this whole deal. But if it does go through after July as a seller, you may not have to pay 6% ever again. Everything is up for negotiation. We know that more competition brings down prices, brings down commission rates. It's better for the consumer. If you're a buyer, something to consider. Your, uh, you hire an agent, you might have to pay now. That might mean you can afford a little bit less home. You might have less to put towards your down payment. Now, in some markets, seller's agents will maybe still compensate the buyer's agent. This all is not lost if you're a buyer. So all of this means there's going to be more competition when it comes to broker's fees. Sellers will have more money to put back into the market and that could drive sales. Here's why it matters for roofers. 27% of the homeowners are replacing their roofs when it comes to the time to sell their house. 20% of sellers either repair or clean their roof. And of course, a lot of buyers do renovations too. If home sales go up, that could mean more work for contractors. Right now, all of this is still hypothetical, so I want to hear from you guys. How often are you working on a roof where the homeowner is getting ready to sell or where they just bought the house. Will more sales affect your business? Let us know why and why not in the comments below. You guys, I'm telling you, if you're tired of trying to use a bunch of different CRMs and apps, Leap is the way to go. There's so many CRMs on the market, but if you're a one-man show, this one is actually stands out and perfect for the startups. They work with the programs you already use so you can manage everything in one place. You can schedule inspection, create an estimate, take measurements, order materials, and collect payment all through Leap. I really like their pricing options. It's very accessible and they keep working with you as your business grows. Thank you, Leap, for sponsoring this week's roofing report. If you guys are on the market for new CRM for your business, check out Leap at leaptodigital.com. Tools and equipment. 
This next story is about new startups in solar space. If you're in solar, you already know there are a lot of rebate programs for homeowners. The problem is they can be hard to keep track of. Depending on where you are, there can be state, local, and federal rebates for installing solar. Contractors are usually the ones who have to deal with the submitting paperwork and claiming those rebates. Now, there are at least three software startups trying to fix that problem. Seal Pro will give contractors the rebate upfront for up to 25% fee. Right now, Sealed is only available in California and New York, but they're planning to roll out in other states. Rock Rabbit and Eli are two more startups working on this problem. They are a little different from Sealed. They are not giving out rebates upfront, but both of them say they will speed up the process for contractors. Basically, these are CRMs for managing rebate applications. Now, it's still early days for all of these companies, but the fact that they exist is a sign the industry is growing, even with some of the regulations challenges right now. Insurance. All right, time for another insurance update. Last week, we talked about State Farm cutting 72,000 policyholders in California. The Louisiana Insurance Commissioner is reacting to that announcement. He said it's time for Louisiana to make changes to their own regulations to keep insurers in the state. The growing number of insurance companies choosing not to write policies in Louisiana have left homeowners grappling with sky-high insurance premiums. In a letter published in the Times-Picayune New Orleans Advocate, Insurance Commissioner Tim Temple laid out a legislative agenda calling for less insurance regulations something the former insurance executive says will help create a more stable and predictable market that encourages insurers to do business in the state. Temple is asking lawmakers to get rid of the three-year rule, which prevents insurance companies from dropping customers who've held policies with them for three years. Senate Insurance Committee Chairman Kirk Talbot from River Ridge supports the bill. We need availability. We need competition. There are companies that simply will not write here because of that three-year rule. Representative Kyle Green sits on the House Insurance Committee. He's open to the idea, but has some concerns. It's a, more of a consumer protection uh, issue that provides consumers the protection that after a disaster that your insurance company is not just gonna leave you high and dry. Temple also wants to strengthen the Louisiana Fortified Roof Program by securing a long-term funding source from the industry. It grants up to $10,000 for homeowners to repair or replace their roofs to a higher standard. There's a, a state rep I know who lives uptown. She just put, uh, I guess it would be the equivalent of the gold level fortified roof on her, on her house, 50% reduction right off the bat. So he is asking for three reforms. Allow insurers to drop policies more easily, allow them to raise rates more easily, and give more funding to the Fortified Homes program. Obviously, this is a controversial issue. Homeowners are already feeling the pressure of rate hikes and being underinsured. But another side, if private insurance leave, it forces more people into state programs. That's usually a last resort, and we are already seeing those programs struggling in Florida and California. Louisiana is in a similar situation, so if they pass these reforms, they could become a test case for the rest of the country. We'll keep you updated. Fines, scams, and jail time. The next one is out of Ohio. If you watch our reports before, you know that child labor violations have been getting a lot of media coverage over the last year. The government is finally reacting to that pressure. As of January 24th, employees can be fined up to $15,000 for each child labor violation. We saw one roofer get fined for a teenager's death a few months back. And now a painting company has been fined $30,000. Newbert Painting hired two 17-year-olds and let them work on roofs while painting houses. Thankfully, in this case, there were no injuries. It's a springtime, and that means there are more roof scammers out there. The Better Business Bureau put out a warning to homeowners to be careful of free roof inspections. Now, this is not completely new. They have put out these alerts in the past for years. But I'm curious to hear what you guys think. Personally, I know a lot of great companies that do free inspections. Of course, there are bad ones too. I want to know if you offer free inspections, has it gotten harder to sell in the past few years? And if you stop doing them, what was the reason? Let me know in comments. And of course, if you do charge 
for your inspections. You can use directory.com to sell those. A lot of companies who are listed on directory.com do pay service. It's perfect for someone who does not own the house, like realtors, buyers, or sellers. Someone who does not own the property yet because you don't know who you're dealing with. You don't know if the sale will go through. So might as well in those cases charge for them. So check directory.com, our marketplace, create an offer and you can be selling them. But if you are still doing it for free, comment below if it's been getting harder for you to do so. Good news. Last but not least, it's time for some good news. Level Up Roofing in Michigan is going some great work. Check it out. Level Up Roofing serves almost all of northern Michigan. Based in Alpena, they've selected one local family for a free roof replacement. Just to give back to the community, um, we selected a family that we thought was um, a deserving candidate. There were definitely a lot, so it was, it was a hard decision. Um, but we're, we're happy with the decision we made. and. We're happy to help this family. For the Wilding family, it's a huge weight off their shoulders after patching their roof multiple times. This is huge. It's a huge burden off of my back and all the whole families. The biggest <clears> blessing <throat> we've ever received. The roofing project is expected to only last one day and have an estimated cost of about $8,000. Getting this kind of help is giving the Wildings a close look at how this community works together. It's made us, you know, emotional and, you know, we just... <laughs> Can't I thank cried, them enough. I cried all the tears yesterday, so luckily I've been. We're, we're glad that you know we live in such a great community and that they're part of that community. She cried all the tears yesterday. I absolutely love it. That's it for this week. Make sure to watch next Sunday and don't forget to like. Remember, we need at least 500 for this show to keep going every Sunday. Comment below what you think about today's news. I'll see you guys next week.